Good morning, everybody. Ah, welcome back to another episode from Corey Bricker. I think I'm going to change my channel name because I know a lot of people ask, why do you have this name Rapidtronics? Well, I'll just tell you, it was a username I had a long time ago, like years and years ago. It was like this username for an email. And so I it was like Rapidtronics at gmail.com. And so when I signed up, Anyways, uh, with YouTube, uh, now I have this username, Rapidtronics. So, but my name is Corey Bricker, and anyways, that's not what this video is about, but, well, kind of. I'm thinking about changing it. So what do you guys think? Should I change my username just to my name? I think it would be more fitting. It's, I, I think it's more along the lines of what I'm doing. My goal is to make videos that will engage and inspire people and actually truly connect with people on a real level and just by sharing with you who I am and the struggles that I've been through and the victories that I've had and I hope you can learn from my life and my mistakes and that my videos will actually inspire you to be better I really do I feel like that is my mission in life right now I want to start making a video every day for you guys and um, just, I don't know, regardless of how I feel, I just want to make a video every single day and pump you guys up or not, just depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I don't feel like making a video. Like today, I was like, oh gosh, but it's been days since I did one. And um, I see a counselor like once a week right now just to kind of, I'm on this challenge for myself where I'm like, it's this goal that I have of mine. It's called aggressive mental health. And it's just, what can I do everything I can to be in the best mental health I can be in? Uh, taking care of my physical health by exercising a couple times a week. I'm just trying to be a better me, you know, really, truly, and feel better altogether in life. Because I've went through this period of life where I've been down for like five or six years, like deep, dark depression where... I really didn't feel like I was ever gonna get out of it. And now I'm starting to feel like I am coming on the tail. Uh, I'm coming out the tail end of it. And uh, you know, I went through a divorce and that was difficult. And there was all kinds of things that hit me at once right afterwards. Like within a couple months, it was like all this insecurity and just this loss of my manhood. Like I was just a shell of a man. I was like whatever manliness I had was gone and so now I've had to build back my confidence and I've overcome a lot of things in my life and um, that's what I want to talk about because I know there's a lot of men who've been through divorce that it just crushes men it just it's so crushing for men it's so easy for women to get back on their feet and it looks like they bounce back not all of them do some of them struggle and just end up being a bitch for the rest of their life but uh, more particularly for men I think it's just in even when I went to my counselor, she's like, women tend typically bounce back within 12 months or so. Men, on the average, it takes like three years to, to get over a major breakup or a relationship that you were in for a long time and to really start feeling healthy and well again. And I mean, I, that's so true for me. It's been uh, about three and a half years, four years, and now I'm just starting to feel like myself again. And I just want to encourage you men out there that if you're going through divorce, you got to give it some time. It's, it is, I, I want to set your expectation level that it's going to take you about three years. It really is. For most guys, it does. You might think you're okay in the beginning. You're like, oh, I got this right. I'm, I've got this whooped. I feel great. I'm rid of that, psh, that bitch, whatever, you know. But the reality is if you have kids and there's a, a separation and there's where you guys have, you know, you split up your parenting time. You're going to get your kids not even half of the time that you used to get them, if you're lucky. And what that's going to do over time is it's going to set in and it's going to be this feeling of just loss, loss of your family unit, loneliness, and self-pity. You're going to feel sorry for yourself and you're going to be angry at people, at the system, at the world, at the government, at the freaking judge, you know, at 
your ex-wife and all of her family and just everything in general is gonna piss you off at some point, I guarantee it will. If it doesn't, then you're amazing. You're a champion of mental health and emotional health. Because for me, it was the opposite. I went through the most difficult struggle I've ever been through in my life. But you know, what finally changed for me is, well, I hit a wall with my drinking. And let me tell you what, drinking and drugs is not the answer. If you're drinking and drugging and you're thinking you're just fine, you're not, you're, you're gonna hit a wall someday or you're masking the problem, which you're basically just putting a Band-Aid on and you're medicating. That's not the answer and you know it is and deep down, you gotta quit that stuff eventually. You need to quit. You need to get healthy. You need to take the steps and the actions to get well. What happened for me is I started going to, and I'll just be straight up and be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I went to celebrate recovery at my church. Um, I didn't, you know, I'd been to some 12 step meetings in the past, but I wanted something different. I didn't wanna go back to those. And I started going to CR, celebrate recovery. And you know what, I, honestly, when I, by the time I got there, I was really beat up and I was pretty depressed and really in despair and I didn't really think things would change for me and I didn't really believe that God would change my life, honestly, because I'd, I'd always believed in God and I had a faith, you know, my Christian faith, but I'd kind of given up on that and I didn't know what I believed anymore. I lost my faith and I'm not kidding you, I went for about a year and I wouldn't say everything got better, but I noticed that it made things different for me and so different was in a way it was kind of better because I felt a little bit different. I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. I still hated my life. I still felt depression and despair. And I'm not kidding, you know, every week I went. But that is really what has changed me is making connections with people there. And so I found out the key to life through that is really like, if you wanna know the answer in general, is it's your connections in life will make you. So it's the people I met there, it's the relationships that I made, it's getting re rid of all the bad connections and relationships in life that I had accumulated through you know lower levels of living, through drinking and going to the bar and seeking out lower level relationships, people that don't, that are, you know, just, you know, bottom feeders, you know, people like me, you know, the people that are struggling. And that's not what I wanted anymore. I wanted to do better. so. I did better and I found better people and I'll tell you what the right people in your life can make a change drastically and almost immediately and it was within probably about six months of going to the meetings I started working for this guy that went there and he was newly sober too but he just had this charm and this zest for life and he was happy and I'll tell you what that rubbed off on me and when I went to work every day he mentored me and he encouraged me and that had the biggest impact on my life of anything. And then there was like two other guys there. One other guy from CR who'd been going for years, not just some new guy, but he'd been there for years and he spoke into my life. And then his brother who had a double lung transplant and he was all happy and he was back to work and he was doing so well. And he went from not even being able to peel a shrimp to being able to work construction and he would speak into my life every single day and it, would, it just made me think what is my problem and this guy almost just died and now he's happy to be just be alive and he got new lungs so it really put it all into perspective for me and another thing that put things into perspective for me when i would start feeling bad is not only the good people that i was with but i, I had this friend his name was buddy and he's still around and if he ever watches this video, I hope he realizes, you know, he's been an inspiration to me. But I went to some other 12-step meetings, and when I met him, he had both legs. And within six months, he had lost one of his legs, amputation because of diabetes and drug use. And within another six months to a year, he lost the other leg to an amputation. And now, just recently, he had his third amputation, and they brought it up even higher. And I'll, I just... I. Every time I felt sorry for myself, I would purposely think of him and think, oh my gosh, how is he doing? You know, how does he do it? I could be, things could be so much worse. You know, I don't have any real problems today. I had 
what seemed like all these problems that piled up on me and be, was just astonishingly difficult to overcome. And I thought, how am I ever gonna overcome any of this stuff? I can't even do one thing. And really, it was about just doing one thing at a time. Do one thing, do one thing. Just do one thing, don't worry about all of it. Just do one thing. What I've learned that is if you are at least trying, not one person can fault you. They might try. There will be people that will criticize you and still continue. But if you are trying, just trying, you're going to be okay. You know, nobody can fault you for trying. Holding down a job, nobody can fault you for that. You know, just doing your very best. Try, try, try. And if you make a mistake, admit it. All right, you know what, I gotta go. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video today and I hope I inspire you in some way. That is my new goal in life and I feel like that's the direction of my channel. And if you like this video, say hi in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the old subscribe right down below. I don't know if it's this side or this side, but please hit that smash, or smash that subscri subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching my video. All right. Have a great day.